राज्य सभा टी का ये बेहद ख़ास प्रोग्राम है गुफ्तु और गुफ्तु के सिलसिले को आगे बढ़ाते हुए इस वक्त हम पहुँचे हैं बंगला फिल्मों और बंगला संगीत की दुनिया में जहाँ बात करेंगे मशहूर गीतकार गायक और संगीतकार कबीर सुमन के साथ कबीर सुमन बेट खटी चंदियाल बेट खटी चंदियाल मोमबत्ती बग्गा आकाशे घोड़ी दिखा के माटी दे आ बग्गा आधुनिक बांग्ला संगीत का एक बड़ा नाम है ओ गानो ला आरेक टा गान गाओ आमरार को था जवार नहीं किचु करार नहीं 1950 को कटक ओडिशा में जन्मे कबीर सुमन का मूल नाम सुमन चट्टोपाध्याय है संगीत से लगाव होने के कारण कबीर सुमन को बचपन से ही शास्त्रीय संगीत की शिक्षा मिली आम जनजीवन के दुख सुख और सपने कबीर सुमन को इस तरह खींचते रहे कि शुरू ही से उनके संगीत में मामूली चीजों ने उत्सव जैसा स्थान पाया बहुमुखी प्रतिभा के धनी कबीर सुमन ने लंबा अरसा वॉइस ऑफ जर्मनी की बंगला सर्विस में बतौर रेडियो जर्नलिस्ट काम किया तकरीबन 14 वर्षों तक नौ देशों का दौरा करते हुए उनकी मुलाकातें तब के मशहूर गायकों के साथ होती रहीं। बॉब डिलन और पीट सीगर जैसी महान हस्तियों से कबीर सुमन की नजदीकी ने उनके संगीत को संवारा और नई शक्ल दी उन्नीस में कबीर सुमन ने सोलो एल्बम तोमा के चाई से डेब्यू किया इस एल्बम का टाइटल ट्रैक तोमा के चाई रातों रात म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री में सुपर हिट साबित हुआ बारह गानों से सजा ये एल्बम कबीर सुमन के जीवन में एक मील का पत्थर बन गया जिसने आधुनिक बांग्ला संगीत की सूरत ही बदल डाली इसके बाद शुरू हुआ कबीर सुमन का संगीत में सफर कई म्यूजिक एल्बम्स के साथ साथ सुमनदा ने लाइव परफॉर्मेंसेस भी जारी रखे जो आज भी चाहने वालों को दीवाना बना देते हैं कबीर सुमन ने फीचर फिल्मों में भी संगीत के जरिए अपनी धमाकेदार उपस्थिति दर्ज कराई है दो हजार चौदह में आई बांग्ला फिल्म जतीश्वर में बेस्ट म्यूजिक डायरेक्शन के लिए उन्हें राष्ट्रीय फिल्म पुरस्कार से नवाजा जा चुका है बेंगोली फिल्म ज्योतिश्वर के लिए कबीर सुमन को रजत कमल With appropriate voices, instruments, and orchestration in the film Jyotishor, to win the Best Music Direction in Songs Award. संगीत के अलावा लेखन और पत्रकारिता में समान रूप से सक्रिय कबीर सुमन की अनेक पुस्तकें भी प्रकाशित हैं. 2009 में जाधवपुर लोकसभा क्षेत्र से सांसद चुने गए कबीर सुमन सार्वजनिक जीवन में बेहद साहसी और मुखर राजनेता साबित हुए. गुफ्तगु में आज आइए जानते हैं अड़सठ वर्षीय गायक और संगीतकार से उनके संगीत में सफर के बारे में जिसने आधुनिक बांग्ला संगीत की सूरत ही बदल डाली और बनाई एक अलग पहचान बहुत-बहुत स्वागत है आपका प्रोग्राम में हमको बताइए कि करीब पिछली सदी के आखिरी डिकेड में आपके गानों ने जो धूम मचाई खास तौर पर पश्चिम बंगाल यानी बंगाल की दुनिया में उसमें तोमा के चाय हो या फिर दस बाई दस फुट बाई दस फुट हो इस तरह के गानों ने एक बिल्कुल अलग तरह का एक्सपीरियंस हमारे सामने पेश किया तब तक जो संगीत था यहाँ उससे क्या किसी तरह की शिकायत करते हुए आप एक दूसरी लाइन खींचने की कोशिश कर रहे थे 
Well, my friend, first of all, uh, excuse me that I don't speak Hindi at all. I regret it. It's all right. And uh, it's no name dropping, but Rovindranath Thakur. And uh, he, he has a great influence on me. And he had written something about music that I found very important. And that was, he said, music must contain so much life in itself so that it can influence the society and the society can influence music. Music must have so much life in itself that it may grow with the progress of time. This did not happen in India. It happened in melody. What India did in, mod, in terms of modern music, modern songs, it's very, unf very interesting, I find it funny mm -hmm. that Indians do not take it seriously. Mm. Or else they would have seen, the world would have seen that India, the, and now when I say India, I mean also Pakistan, I also mean Bangladesh, uh, also Nepal to some extent and India, that the, the types of melody we created in India, especially also in film music, was superb. I mean, it was unparalleled. Uh, it really could, could stand up to any challenge from Europe and America. Not their pop songs, but art songs, which in, in German they say Kunstlied, which Schubert uh, tried to create and he, he took uh, poems and then put them to tune. But they made this clear distinction, Kunstlied, which is art song and pop. In German they would say Schlager, very popular music. In India it was, told it was popular as well as art song. And great composers like uh, Anupam Ghatak, Naushad Ali Khan Sahib, Opi Nayar, Shochindim Barman, Madan Mohan, then uh, of course uh, Shankar Jaikishan, Hemantu Mukherjee, all these people, uh, I mean Kal Kalanji, Anandji, all, 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 all they contributed to a great gamut of m melodies, melodies, uh, unparalleled, unparalleled. But because of the type of the films that were being produced and made, the type of the characters that were being pro, uh, promoted, like the heroines, the central female characters, they were always sissies, mostly. They did not want to knew, know what to do with their life. There was one bad guy who wanted to snatch her away, and that was the villain, and a good guy, usually belonging to a poorer sect of the family, of the society, who was a, a well-wisher well and well-doer. So apart from this, and then they lived happily ever after. So, if you even look at the, it's very interesting, sir, Mr. Irfan, that if you look at the type of voices we have, Lata Mangeshkar, great singer, Asha Bhosle, Gita Dattu, but they have a similar type of voice. You must excuse me, I don't know, many people would start keep in, naming their dogs after me when, I, when they hear this, but it's almost a pre-menstrual voice. Whereas Shamshad Begum, she had, a, or say, uh, uh, all, there are many, uh, like in, in classical music, Gangubai Hangal. Mm -hmm. Begum Akhtar. Begum Akhtar, those voices, the broad, they did not quite, uh, quite survive long. So, what the songs we have, the melodies are wonderful, but again, one type of melody. And also in Bengal, also in, in Chennai, in, in Karnataka, everywhere in Assam, India is full of music, a plethora of music. But Indian folk songs, they are much more varied and different characters. If you listen to, say, uh, Heer, it has a certain character. There are so many other Punjabi folk songs, different characters. If you hear uh, Rajasthani folk songs, wonderful, UP, Bihar. Bhojpuri, Bengali. 
But these types did not find a way into the Bombay movie world. So they were not really practiced much and not encouraged. And the song, the, the songs, the song texts, they were all the same. All kind of plaintive or, oh my God, I'm dying of uh, longing, please save me. Or, or we are happy, let's be happy together, that kind of stuff. Which bothered me. As a young man, I looked around and what did I see? Like in this house. We have been living here since 1970. There's a canal nearby. That is actually the old Ganga. Today it's a canal. It has lost its course. What did I see? I saw corpses of young men, daggers still stuck onto their back. I saw cops guarding our roads with open rifles. I saw dead bodies mutilated. Bengal was seething. And a political, a different political age was being born. But that time did not find any reflection in our songs, in the Bengali songs. So although I was uh, on the, um, on the uh, singers list of AIR, Akashpani Kolkata, uh, and I was a beehive grade, from, my, from age 17, I was a beehive graded Adhunik modern song singer and Robindra Shungit singer. So I used to have a program, get a program once a month, which, is, which was quite a lot in those old days. And where we really faced big com competition because Hemant Mukherjee, Mahmud Rafi, Talat Mahmud, they were all oh, like great, you know. So and there I was a small young man and uh, very, very mediocre. But uh, I had to write songs because I did not write songs because I, have not an, I was not an approved lyricist. So you need, needed to uh, get songs from approved lyricists if you had to perform them at the uh, All India Radio. And they were, I'm sorry, but they were not good at all. They were mostly love songs, all love songs, not even a patriotic song. I was putting them to tune. So this I was kind of in practice, you know, in the praxis of it, that putting a lyric to tune. But how to write? Because those lyrics were not satisfying me as a young man. The world I saw, I, I did not see this world fit for music. If we had to sing a song, what kind of a song would that be? Like Berthold Brecht says that in dark times, the song will speak of the dark times. It was a dark time, but the, our songs were not speaking of the dark time. What do we do now? And then I um, got an invitation somehow from France to teach rudiments of Indian classical music at, a, at certain places and to learn uh, uh, some, uh, it, is, it was called Gregorian chant. It was a chant, like slokas in India. And there I heard for the first time in my life, I, I was given to listening to European songs over the radio. They were not unknown to me at all. I was quite under their influence. But I had not heard Bob Dylan before. And then one day, I hear Bob Dylan in France. Where have you been, my blue-eyed son? Where have you been, my darling young one? And the Bangladesh Liberation War was just over. Calcutta and West Bengal had to find place and food for over two crores of Bangladesh refugees and those were the great days of Indira Gandhi, you know, very valiant, you know, defending Bangladesh and we were infused with the spirit of, new spirit of patriotism on the one hand and a Bengali patriotism on the other. But at the same time we saw terrible carnage, unimaginable cruelty uh, practiced on people and the helpless people of Bangladesh. And there, this song of uh, Dylan that I heard the roar of a thunder that rolled out a warning. I heard the roar of a, a wave that could uh, drown the whole world. And he hardly had a singer's voice. He had a very weak voice. 
squeaking somehow, strumming a guitar, and just, where have you been, my blue-eyed son? And then as the song proceeds, what did you see, my blue-eyed son? I saw, I, I saw a man who was wounded in love. I saw a man who was wounded in hatred. What did you hear, my blue eyes? I heard 10,000 whispering and nobody listening. So, I see my country, I see my Bengal, I see my India. I see my world in that song. And this song told me, hey, you have to quit singing. Unless you <laughs> write songs yourself, such songs as these are blowing in the wind. How many rows must a man walk down before you call him a man? And there, there the text, uh, how many years must one man have before he can hear people cry? And I looked at my India, where over 80% people did not have enough food. And we were talking of atomic peace. And the shame I felt as a middle class Bengali, middle class Indian. But where was my song? My song had to deflect that, that shame, not just shame, also my love. The songs of love that we were made to sing, songs of Tagore, other great composers of the Hindi, even the Hindi song, they had, when I express my love to a young woman or old, I never used such language. When I, hardly anyone would say, Dil jo na kahe saka, that's a, that's a film sequence. In real life, we wouldn't. I just quoted a Hindi song, I think most of the songs were like this, you know, the typical this lovey, lovey, uh, lemonade world, illuminated. That's when I came back to India. One other thing, I was a slave to Ustad Amir Khan. And uh, I had received, in all modesty I say as an Indian, I'm still a student of music at I'm age 68, still learning. But I had taken lessons on in uh, Indian vocal Hindustani classical music for 12, 14 years. So I was trained in that. It's not just song, but music. And then I came to Calcutta and I so told myself, hey, first, first I went to All India Radio Calcutta and told the uh, modesty, told, please, I don't want to sing anymore because I can't relate to the music. So he said, young man, at least sing once or twice a year Tagore songs. I said, okay. But he stopped singing modern songs. But I was a moder moderately high-graded singer. Then I started writing songs. And, well, I don't know. It's my, my, the, the, the blessings of my gurus. I'm an Indian, you know. To me, uh, the guru is, is greater than God, Ishwar or Allah. Guru is everything. And my gurus, they also encourage me. So the, we, we under, like, like even for classical Indian music, like Piya ki nazariya jadu bhari in Iman, hey, sorry man, I'm, I'm sick, of, sick and tired of Piya ki nazariya. Or, or Mal Koshan, Jin ke man Ram Biraja. I hold nothing against Ram, Ram Chandra in particular. But only thing is that whenever I have to sing Mal Koshan, I sing that, I'm sorry. So a time came when I told my guruji, Please, sorry, I touch your feet. Please leave me, spare me. I have to write the bandish myself. At that time I did not. Today I am trying to do it. So again, this bandish is a different thing. Again, a different song. I wrote such songs in as modern Bengali or modern Indian music. In 73, 74, 75, you know, everyone has to find his or her own language. I needed time. And come 79, 1979, and I could see that I had written one or two songs. That's how it, it proceeded. And it changed. Yes, it did. It changed. Uh, but it was a lover's quarrel. It was never a real quarrel, to quote Robert Frost. It was a lover's quarrel with the world. I never really dissociated myself from the mainstream Indian modern music. Never. Like the, song, the melodies I put up were very, very mod modest. I was not a, I have never been a composer. Opin Ayar was a composer. Shojin Dev Barnon was a composer. 
they were composers, great composers. And uh, Madan Mohan was a composer, Naushad Ali was a composer, Anupam Ghatak was a composer, Sholil Choudhury was a composer. Me, you know. I'm a musician, but I know the art of writing a song. And there I ch tried to change the structure and to put in simple melody, mm -hmm. which other people could easily share. Mm -hmm. But those melodies are definitely Indian. Many people have called me the Dylan of India. I, I, I don't like that at all because uh, Shochinde Bonbon's influence on me is far greater than that of Dylan or Pete Seeger. Like I have a song, it's about kites, you know. Akashi Ghudi Rijhakma Titiya Bugga. The rickshaw boy, 13, 14 year old boy is driving his rickshaw while on the Vishwakarma Puja Day, it's a particular Puja Day in Bengal where people, this is a festival of the kites. So kites are being flown everywhere. The poor young man, he has to, he has to pull a rickshaw and it's no time for that. It's a song on that, on that particular boy, on that day and that festival. So, it's an Indian song. You, you, you remember Shochinde Balmond's song. So, it's a, you see, you can put in Hindi words, you can put in Bhojpuri words, they would tally, they would match up. So, it was not any Western uh, music and influence that made this poor man. It was rather the music of the world and the music of the subcontinent. So that's how it was. Just like you have told me, I have to tell you that 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 I have to lyrics that I have to tell you that I have और उसमें आपने कहा कि वो सारी चीजें जो आपके इर्द-गिर्द थीं वो गानों में मैनिफेस्ट नहीं हो रही थीं जिसमें आपने फिल्मों के जो हिंदी फिल्मों का एक बड़ा जो हमारे पॉपुलर डोमेन में सबसे ज्यादा डोमिनेट करता है उसकी बात की ये तो आपको मालूम ही है कि फिल्म का म्यूजिक एक पर्टिकुलर पर्पस से बनाया जाता है वो फिल्म की जरूरत को पूरा करता है आपकी इस बात से मैं पूरी तरह बेशक एग्री नहीं करता कि सब कुछ वहां वैसा है जिसमें कुछ भी मीनिंगफुल नो 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 देयर आर सर्टेन सॉन्ग्स जो आपके अपने टाइम को और उसको रिफ्लेक्ट करते टेक्स्ट वाइज आई एम सॉरी आई एम इंटरप्टिंग यू इरफान जी लाइक जाने वाले सिपाही से पूछो इट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एंटी वॉर सॉन्ग्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड it's I don't know who wrote the words, but Sholin Chodhuri did the music and Manna they sang. It's a wonderful song. No, 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 no. In Hindi, like um, Sholin Chodhuri, I was very close to him. He told me that the poets wrote songs in, in, in Bombay, not in Bengal. So, like he once told me, you know, once they wrote a word, someone put in a word Kami in Hindi. You can't translate it in Bengali. So, in Hindi, the wonderful, like you listen, you are listening to uh, Pakiza songs and Savan uh, Ka a wonderful piece of literature, man. No, 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 it's not that. All I'm saying is that, but existence covers much more area. And such songs hardly came up because of the type of the Hindi movies. I'm not saying that you have to have such songs, but Non-film music stopped existing in the Hindi world. There were non-film songs like ghazals, but they slowly, they slowly, you know, went away. And Hindi film movies, film songs, they reigned supreme. Not in Bengal. In Bengal, like I came in to the music scene, Bengali music scene, as a songwriter, musician, singer, not in films non-film songs. Such non-film songs hardly existed in, Hindi, in the Hindi world. Maybe that was one problem. Because the songs had to reflect the spirit of the film, the movies. And uh, so that was it. Like I had the great benefit of not bowing my head 
to any business interest, mm. like a folk singer, Indi any Indian folk singer, I'm an Indian folk singer. Mm. You understand? So, uh, Indian folk singers, they have their instruments, I have my guitar or piano. Mm. Not, not because I want to display how much money I have or Western influence, no. Because on guitars I can hold chords, mm. whereas on our uh, rural instrument, uh, folk instrument, Dothara, the Bing in Bengal, uh, Dothara, we can't hold chords. Tang ta ta tang ta tang tang. That's always okay. Gadi alabai tang ta ta tang tang. That's what you're playing. But if I say sing, I have every right to sing that song. Huh? Bombay meri jaan. I can't play an Indian Indian sarinda to it. I can't play dothara to it. I I need a guitar, which we have Indianized. That's why I used a guitar. Not to uh, display, not to indicate that I was under the Western musical influence. No, because India is one place where really, you know, as uh, Rabindranath said, "Dibya nibe mila ve mili ve jave na phire." That all the influence of the world music, they have found a place in India, and that's wonderful. Which the Europeans, the England, British. They ruled on us for 200 years. What did they learn from us? Nothing. Bombay curry mm. at the most. Mm. Miserably cooked Bombay curry. Mm. Whereas Rabindranath says in an interview that Europe has been our neighbor for over 200 years. Are we stones or barbarians that we won't accept their, their gifts? Mm. So India happily accepted the cultural gifts of the West. Mm. So our music was was happily, fortunate in, in a lovely way, an amalgamation of whatever we found good for us. Hmm. That way, my music is highly Indian, hmm. but mediocre, man. I am no opinion yet. Well, this is your humble submission. No, 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 no. All I know is that I have to make a song. Say, Irfan, let's say there's a Krug now shooting me. Someone says, let's have a song on this. I will say, give me one hour. I'll have a song on this. I'll try to. Hmm. Since I'm a Bengali, Bengali is like my language, I will do it in Bengali. Hmm. This song would have no tall claim to immortality. Hmm. But it will be a funny folk song kind of thing. Hmm. That was the kind of music I mostly tried to make. So now I ask you that what you were saying in the beginning, that what you were talking about here, and all India radio, what you were talking about, was very stale. और उस टाइम को Stereotyped. और स्टीरियोटाइप और जब आप यहाँ से निकल कर यूरोप गए और वहाँ जो एक्सपोजर आपका आपने बॉब डिलन का नाम लिया लेकिन साथ साथ और भी बहुत सारे नाम हैं जॉन बायज जॉन लेनन या पीट सीगर इन सब लोगों का के सिंगिंग स्टाइल उनके कंसर्न्स भी आपको कहीं मोटिवेट कर रहे थे और तब आपने मतलब अगर आप वहाँ न जाते तो शायद कहानी दूसरी होती और यहाँ अभी आप इस सवाल को सॉल्व ना कर पा रहे होते हु नोज लाइक आई डोंट नो मे बी दैट आई मे बी मे बी आई नीड इट दैट मैन डिलंस डिलंस एनाउंसिएशन डिलंस स्टेटमेंट ऑफ आई आई फाउंड द वर्ड फाइनली माय ओल्ड हेड द स्टेटमेंट्स दैट इंडियन मॉडर्न इंडियन म्यूजिक मेड वन नॉट माई कप ऑफ टी the music was wonderful, instrumentation wonderful, the use of flute. La 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 God, open ear is God to me. And then the sarangi that comes, Ram Narayan played it. The great Ram Narayan. I've heard that Ram Narayan used to drive a sedan body Mercedes when Ashok Kumar was the only one to drive one. So Ram Narayan was really good. He was a god. Also, Dokhina Mohan Thakur, a Bengali Dilruba player, was hired by Opin Ayar. So that music, not only the songs, not only the song per se, Diwana Hua Badal. No, 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 Badal. No, no, I'm not indicating that. I'm indicating the world of music. And the... Transition to Bhagasri, to the Rag Bhagasri. Mm. And then the Rag Bhagasri comes. 
la 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 you if tell me that's before i die i want to hear that song it means so much to me but the statement that that song was making was not not really giving me peace not to i am not looking for peace in your music i am looking for statement whereas jaane wale sipahi se poocho wo kahan ja raha hai any time it is a statement and this is what prompted me to make music in the morning jaane wale sipahi se poocho wo kahan ja raha आपने जाने वाले सिपाही गाने को कोट करते हुए ये कहा कि वो ज्यादा डायरेक्ट एक गाना है डायरेक्ट ऑफर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन है लेकिन खुद जब आपके अपने गानों को हम देखते हैं तो आपने सटल ढंग से चीजों को कहने की ज्यादा कोशिश की अमादेर जॉनों को अगर आप देखिए तो छोटी छोटी चीजों को आ, कैसे आप सेलिब्रेट जो जिंदगी का पूरा Uh, उसके साथ नोस्टाइल जिया जुड़ा हुआ है उसका एक सेलिब्रेशन की तरह है uh, या फिर uh, तोमा के चाय में भी अब बहुत ज़्यादा ओवर ओवरटली कोई चीज़ नहीं जाने वाले सिपाही की तरह नहीं कह रहे हैं क्या म्यूज़िक की भी अपनी कोई पॉलिटिक्स है uh, जो आपको uh, 
कहीं बैक ऑफ द माइंड कोई काम करती है एब्सोल्यूटली म्यूजिक इज पोलिटिकल एक्सप्रेशन देर कैनॉट बी एनी ए पोलिटिकल म्यूजिक द मोमेंट वी आर मेकिंग म्यूजिक एंड यूजिंग इट दिस अ पर्पज टू इट से जाने वाले सिपाही से पूछो नाउ वेन वी थिंक ऑफ इंडिया लुक एट टूडे बेलीजरेंट इंडिया द मोर बेलीजरेंट यू आर द मोर पेट्रियाटिक यू आर I find it rather uh, painful and disturbing. The song जाने वाले सिपाही से पूछो वो कहाँ जा रहा है Where the hell is he going? To to kill whom? Are they our our enemies? You just start pulling the 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 song a little wider. Is Pakistan our enemy? can a pakistani be my enemy it can anyone be my enemy to the extent that i'll kill him or get killed by him so the if you the power of this particular song resides in this now let's take another song इंसान के मंदिर है ये भगवान का घर है सिंपल सॉन्ग भैरू भी पीसफुल इंसान द वर्ड इंसान कम्स मैन ह्यूमन बींग एंड भगवान हु इज सिंगिंग द सॉन्ग मोहम्मद रफी वट इज सॉन्ग कंटेन Mandir, the word. Who is singing it? Muhammad Rafi. If you ask me, for India, it has a message. Not in the song itself, but in the totality of the song, it is a philosophical message too. When Bade Gola Mali Khan Saab, Devi Shorishwati is one of his, one of her children, sings Hari Om Tat Sat. this very man a devout practicing muslim who never missed a namaz never missed a roza who never had meal alone do you know that that in park circus he lived in park circus in kolkata his son munabbar ali khan saab had to go out of his place every single day in the uh, in the in the at noon time and request people unknown people to come and share his father's food if no one came he wouldn't eat touch the meal a devout practicing muslim he is saying hari om tat sat hari om i have not met any hindu singer who could say hari om in this way this musically so if you take it in its totality it's political and philosophical too aur abhi aapne baaton baaton mein kaha ki music aapko slave bhi bana sakta hai aur rebel bhi bana sakta hai right. isko bhi thoda elaborate right 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 now here the you see already we have we have come into it at a, a territory where music is not a stand alone thing it has some connotations and now slave now let's first consider the rebel it's hmm. more interesting uh let's take melody lines like this one la 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 fine hey let's have a cup of tea i mean someone is singing the song and no problem but suddenly a melody comes la 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 you you can't sit still anymore movement it is it is encouraging movement uh like you you are listening to the mausam hai aashikana kya baat hai sa ah ah but then comes shochin the bourbon la 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 oh god 
It's a different woman altogether, a different woman type, who seems to be dancing. But dancing not to my taste. And the, the way the melodies were be la 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 pocketish la 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 but also independent. The moment a the moment a woman is kind of coquettish, there's a hidden indication potential danger to the society. She might not be chaste. The bourgeois might not be. Or say La tum kopia dil diya kitnila. Oh my God, this movement itself is questioning. It is disconcerting. So it's, I'm quoting typical Hindi movie songs. La 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 la. Let's consider women dancing and singing. La la. But if you consider that rhythm, the type of melody, the type of singing, this song, the composition prompts. You will find that I, the man, you, the man, the man, we are losing ground. They seem to be independent. La 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 la. Maybe they are coming towards us. Kind of coquettish. But if I extend my hand, she would disappear. Because the song itself is moving. The rhythm is moving. Every part is moving. There is no static part. So this is how, and this is also why, Hindi film songs, they stole our hearts. See, I to kya hua dil wale hai? I tere 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 chahne wale hai. Excuse my diction, I don't care. But the song is one of the best songs I've ever heard for a country like India or Pakistan or Bangladesh. And most of the people are dark skinned. To me, it's a political song. Imagine a pawn shop, not today anymore, I mean not in Calcutta, poor place. But there was a time when we were young, the pawn shops and a small radio belching out such songs as these. And the common people, dark skinned, the combing their hair, Devanand's way or Raj Kapoor's way or Shammi Kapoor way, there's a mirror. And from the radio, this song is coming out. And now, of course, in the bus stand, the local rich man's daughter going to school, standing there to catch a bus. She has no eyes for this guy. He's dark-skinned. So coming from working classes, he's combing his hair in a very vulgar way. Wicked man. The girl she would fall for, would hold the door of a car open for her. He would be well dressed. He wouldn't yell like that. And, oh God, he wouldn't be dark. He would be fair complexioned. And in such a country as this, a guy singing, my kale hai to kya hua dil wale hai. And now here you see, ta 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 This is a Punjabi folk song. The whole thing is a demand. I find a political flag in it, the fist. I've always found it. The first day I heard it, I was in adolescence. I said, my God, my God, this is it. It's just funny, this is a funny country that the communist party parties never chose this song as one of their songs. ये तो खैर हुआ आपका रेबेल वाला आर्गुमेंट। Now the slave, the opposite of it, the opposite, the, the cool, the suave, like चलो दिल दार चलो दांत के बार चलो क्या बात है आप थोड़े थोड़े holding hands come on let's walk or let's fly, let's fly. Now this song, this काले है तो क्या हुआ दिल वाले है? might be disturbing, but this one, most certainly not. So most of these songs, you know, also the sudden movements, like for which, like Shochinde Bormund, he was famous for this. Say, la 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 
la la la la la la. I don't know who did it. Maybe Rahul the bomber. La 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 la. He's a man. I think it's Kati Patang. No, Kati Kati Patang. Rahul the bomber must be. So this again, this this particular song, the melody line, is not encouraging any static behavior. And you have to sing it. You cannot sing it in a fine, delicate way. You have to sing out. This is, again, uh, I would, I should say, this is intervening. It is intervening in the hearing pattern of our society, which is then it, this song can tend to pro produce progressive elements, meaning. A prog in order to be progressive, one doesn't have to preach communism or, or socialism or a classless society. Music progressive is to leave behind the types of music we had, we had had for a long time and to look for new things. And what is regressive? Regressive is where you don't have to think. Easy listening. In, 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 in America, they have even made a category, easy listening. Which again would be in San Kamanti? You see, I'll smile and Bhagwan But now imagine I'm singing, you know, the owner of a mandir or masjid or whatever, and singing the song. In San, suddenly a very funny smile appears on my, on my lips, and suddenly in in the next cut you see guns coming out of that whatever temple or mosque or church. Then this particular song, it becomes a no-no business for the comfortable classes. So, if we, the more we have, say, uh, I was, I was uh, mentioning Kabir Khan Saab's uh, films, where I, I, I say, uh, in, a, in, a, in a movie like uh, uh, Ek Tha Tiger, it's a very sub subversive movie for me. For me, it's a wonderfully romantic and subversive movie. Oh, I loved it. But the songs, the songs are New York, New York. The songs are typical. They don't question. The movie is questioning, not the songs. So here is a, uh, I should say, a divorce, which again, the movie industry can promote, cannot, may not promote. Right now, it's promoting. Now, typical in, is Bengal. In Bengal, you will see, uh, the concerts mostly are Rovindra Shungit concerts and everyone tends to sing it, sing Rovindra Shungit the same way. That is Shesh Nahi Je, Shesh Kota, now all tall talks and of course it is Rovindra Nath, so you cannot question. If it is Rovindra Nath, you, if you question, you don't belong to the gentry. You are an outcast, you are thrown out. So Rovindra Nath, okay. A, Othur Prashad Shen, another icon, culture icon, okay. Not Kobishwan, because Kobishwan might cause question. But and no one cares, oh come on. But Rabindranath, yes. Shesh nahi shesh gotha. Everyone is doing that. You know, the next artist comes. Now we have Mr. Irfan, Irfanji, and with his Rabindra Shungit, he comes and says, Jagot And no one has anything against it, because it is comfortable. It is not questioning. But suddenly comes a different Irfanji. He says, Hare de 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 amai chede de 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 Jaman chada bonir pakhi monir anande de Hare, this is the goes on too. It says that, Hare de 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 amai chede de Leave me, let me be free, free me. The way a bird is in the forest, the jungle. You will... I have not heard this song over the last 825 years. No bong, no Bengali sings this song. Why? Because you cannot sing this song. But you can't. So, so this, is, this is not producing slaves, nor is it producing rebels. But most other songs, the comfortable songs, also movie songs, say, uh, beautiful song. Say, we have this wonderful song, my favorite. Zindagi bhar nahi, 
भूलेंगे बरसात की रात क्या बात है साहब ब्यूटिफुल मेलोडी बट दिस गोज ऑन एंड ऑन इन द नेक्स्ट मूवी यू हैव दिस दिस सॉन्ग अगेन वाई लाइक ए आर रहमान से इंटरव्यू आई रेड वन इंटरव्यू दैट इज वंडरफुल म्यूजिशियन हिस्से दैट I did this Roja song, and the next, from the next, very next day, when the film it became a hit, producers came with bundles with sacks of money and said, "Please give me another such song." He said, "Hey, I can't give you another such song. I will give you better song." No, we want that song. So it, you know, la 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 da da na na na, a potentially progressive song. Why? If you go back to Chhattogram, you will find a song in Chhattogram. It is not sung in the Chhattogram Chittagong dialect, but in the Bangal dialect, which is East Bengal. Jo deshunda na khanmukh paitam na 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 na. Jo deshunda na khanmukh paitam. This is a Bengali song, folk song from Chittagong. Now, who lifts it up? Shankar Jaikishan sir. These two great. They are doing it. मैं तुम कम सिन हो ना 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 अगेन आई शुड आई एम कॉन्ग्रेट इट नॉट प्रोग्रेसिव वाई बिकॉज इट वॉज जो दिशुंदर खन मुख पाई था वेरी सिंपल दीज टू गाइज द वीकेट द पंचिंग इन अदर एलिमेंट्स ला 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 ना 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 ला 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 these movements again the questioning the 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 comfortable song setup progressive now comes uh, uh mr air rahman la 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 the rhythm itself changes la 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 is reggae la 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 wonderful la 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 this use of common knee charges this song the use of common lee was not in this way practiced by mr shankar mr jaykishan but it was la 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 he used the common lee in the antara la 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 the common lee sa re ga ma pa da ni la 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 a masterly stroke but what this man this young man does he uses the common lee in the beginning la 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 and now 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 you have motion in it now you have motion la 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 na 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 la you see this serpentine movement he would maybe he would laugh over it would over my interpretation this is how a musician can interpret music although it's film music it is not producing a slave shankar jaykishan did not imitate the chitagong song folk song he created something new out of it it's a air rahman did not imitate the shankar jaykishan song he created something out of it so here they are not Uh, slaves but you consider a patterned music and there you will see that a kind of a slavery is being practiced it's best possible um, case would you will find in bengal which is proud so proud so ostensibly proud of its culture and everyone is the same nothing is different the moment something is different or oh, not this one not this one it happened with me is this bengali at all the first thing that i heard it's not bengali i said what the hell is this is it punjabi or what pashto no no but it's not the modern bengali song no one would say that in 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 bombay in the hindi speaking world nobody said oh the lahai chhota sa hey why this kind of a rhythm it was better that way tum kam se na kat la la na kat na 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 kat la la wa comfortable and this man is la 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 this mode youthfulness in it but no one suspected him they rewarded him in bengal the moment you are different why are you different you understand so this again comes from a certain view of music as i said the thare re 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 ama it's also tagore song but it's difficult to sing 
because they have to sing out. It's better to sing in. Singing in produces slavery. Singing out produces anti-slavery or anti-slavery. तो यही वो एरिया है जिसमें आप अपने बारे में कह रहे हैं कि आपके सामने खुद ये एक सवाल की तरह बार बार खड़ा होता रहा इसके बारे में बात करेंगे एक ब्रेक ले लेते हैं छोटा सा अभी वक्त है छोटे से ब्रेक का ब्रेक के बाद हाजिर होते हैं और बातें जारी रखते हैं मशहूर गीतकार गायक और संगीतकार कबीर शुमन के साथ दिल से दिलों की बात I was an actor by accident. सामने होने के बावजूद आप इतने कॉन्फिडेंट कैसे हैं? न कोई शह न कोई मात जब मैं ड्रेट करता हूँ तो मेरे ऊपर एक स्टूडियो होता है उसके पेट हमेशा ठीक नहीं होता है जिस इंसान के अंदर डिसिप्लिन है वो इंसान जो है जमीन से उठ के आसमान को छू सकता है जिंदगी के सफर की कहीं अन कहीं बात ऐसा मैं कुछ और कर लेता तो जो मैं और इससे बड़ा बन जाता तो मैं नहीं सोच सकता अब मुश्किल है बताना किसका गाना कौन गा रहा है कामयाबियाँ नाकामियाँ शोहरत आती है और एक वक्त के बाद चली जाती है चुनौतियाँ और चिंताएं फिल्मों से कोई भी गिला है आपको समाज को ठीक कीजिए वो खुद बहुत ठीक हो जाए मेरे ख्याल में रुलाता नहीं हूँ मैं रोता हूँ अंतरंग चर्चाएं ये बहुत बड़ा संगीतकार बनेगा अपना सच बोलता है आप में एक वर्सिटैलिटी होनी चाहिए हल्की फुल्की चुटकियाँ ये सिलसिला धुकधुकी का जो है वो हमेशा से कायम रहा है तेरी अखियाँ दो नाली तेरी बत्तिया दो नाली लगे राइफल सा झटका तो हार तो दिलचस्प दास्तानों का एक अनोखा सिलसिला देखिए गुफ्त को रविवार रात साढ़े दस बजे और सोमवार शाम चार बजे स्वागत है एक बार फिर से प्रोग्राम है गुफ्तगु और गुफ्तगु में आप हैं आज कबीर सुमन के साथ जो कि एक बेहद जाने माने गायक गीतकार संगीतकार पत्रकार एक्टर और कई विधाओं में समान रूप से सक्रिय रहते हैं सुमनदा आपने कहा कि ब्रेक से पहले जितनी भी बातें हम कर रहे थे उसमें ज़्यादातर इलस्ट्रेशन ज़्यादातर एग्जाम्पल्स आप फिल्म म्यूज़िक से लेकर आ रहे थे जबकि आपके अपने करियर का एक बड़ा हिस्सा नॉन फिल्म म्यूज़िक का है बल्कि कहिए कि शुरुआती जो एक चर्चा आपके नाम को लेकर हुई वो गैर फिल्मी गानों को लेकर ही हुई क्या गैर फिल्मी गानों को लेकर किसी तरह का रेजिस्टेंस है हम लोगों के पूरे ना सिर्फ बंगाल में बल्कि पूरे हिंदुस्तान में एक उसके सामने कोई चुनौती है कि गैर फिल्मी गाना बहुत लंबा जीवन नहीं जी पाएगा इट इज नॉट वेरी इजी टू से एनीथिंग बिकॉज यू सी मोस्टली कॉमल कुमार मुजुमदार वॉज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बेंगोली ऑथर एंड फिल्म क्रिटिक ही एट वंस रिटन दैट इन बेंगोल इज नीड अ सॉन्ग इन अ फिल्म बट आई डोंट थिंक ओनली बेंगोल इज ऑल ओवर इंडिया दे नीड सॉन्ग्स Now, as it happened, the fin what Karl Marx calls finance capital, that the capital that worked, that was put to work in in the film industry, was massive in being in India. It came next to Japan. Japan put in the most the huge amounts of capital into the film industry. Then came India. and with millions and millions so naturally the 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 songs that were outside the film domain the dwindled but even there so it was very difficult like uh, what should i say it is a uh, india is still to create a music that would talk of darkness uh whereas if we can if you look at betold brecht's drama theater there for his uh, for the music of his theater the stuka his uh, plays he 
summoned the help of Kurt Weil, who was a jazz musician and atonal, practiced atonal music, and also Hans Eisler, who was a classical musician, so was Kurt Weil, but who preferred jazz. And Brecht told them to use jazz. Now, why? Because it is speaking of a particular situation, the play, when the music is also equally, it has to be equally offbeat. Like uh, Under High Fish, Mac the Knife. Many people sang this song, even Frank Sinatra, his famous rendition of Mac the Knife. In German, in German, the song uh, Mac der Messer is totally atonal. Da, 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 da. Like this, it starts. It is not giving you any respite. You are not supposed to feel good. Brecht's point is he's alienating. He's using the word, he's, he has developed this word entfremdung, which means alienation. He's showing you a particular sequence and you're liking it. And Brecht says, no man, you're not supposed to like it. You're supposed to dislike it. Because this is a play, but the same thing is happening outside. But those songs, they never became hits. People accepted the songs as long as they were being played in the theater hall. Outside the theater hall, there were great singers like uh, uh, Gisela Mai was a very popular Brecht singer. But they did not, could not contest with Michael Jackson, with Thriller. It could not, they could not. They could not contest with Bob Dylan. They could not contest with Yesterday, Yesterday, could not. Now here comes the great question, what does man need? Man meaning, man, I don't have to say man, woman and a human being, okay. Oh, it's so difficult to talk in these days, you know. Uh, do we, what do we need? Do we need peace? Do we need solace? There are people who say that, yes, we do. Say Rittik Ghatak. Let's come to Rittik Ghatak. Uh, Shotojit Rai, he did his own music after two or three goes. Rittik Ghatak never did so. Does it mean that Shotojit Rai knew more mu bet music better than Rittik Ghatak did? I don't think so. Let's consider Shudar Norekha, which I think is a milestone in, in film and also the application of music. We are coming to this, this, this particular point. Is it comfortable? No, or not. In Shubhadna Rekha, the theme is one of Riti Ghatak's favorite. The partition of Bengal, the refugees coming over to West Bengal, a man taking charge of two lost children, a boy and a girl, who are not related, but they are growing up with the knowledge, with the belief that they were brothers, siblings, but they are not related. Now a time comes when they are both grown up and the boy has to fend for himself, he leaves. He wants to become an author, he fails. The girl grows up. They are both now uh, father than adolescents, just adolescents. Who is doing the music? Bahadur Shah, Ustad Bahadur Shah. Bahadur Khan, sorry, Ustad Bahadur Khan. Now, the boy has arrived at that man's place who is their guardian. He is not around. He finds his sister, so-called sister. And there, a wonder takes place. The boy says, I'm in love with you. I've always loved you. And the girl says, I've always loved you too. I've desired you. This is Ritik Ghatak. Now, Ritik Ghatak takes a shot, a, a, an indescribably wonderful shot, a circular pan, you know. And it's strong daylight sequence. But what do we hear in the background? The Rag Kalabhati. Gapadani Padani 
It's an, it's an evening melody, it's a night melody. And Rithik Ghatok and Bahadur Khan are using it for, for the day. This for me is revolutionary music, radical music. Why? Because they know very well that there is no afternoon rag or, or late or noon rag. Shall we take Miyaki Todi? Shall we take any saran? Shall we take Suha? which you can perform, play both in the day and in, in the night. What do we do? Do we stretch, stretch it and use Multani? Do we use Madhumanti? All these good rags. But they don't impart the sense of longing, which Kalabati does. So although strictly Shastra-wise, Kalabuti cannot be played in daytime. They're playing it with, with a huge shocking effect. For those who... I'm sorry, I, I don't want to be snooty and uh, snobbish. But uh, for I don't know. I, I, since Kalabuti runs in my blood, I mean, ever since I was a child, I was, I was trained in music, uh, classical music. I don't know what, how others people, other people felt, but I guess they felt the same way because I have heard people almost shriek in the in the auditorium once or twice and this and when it arrives at the komalni in the, the lower octave and they look at each other and you see the helplessness and you know you have the premonition that this love can't last so here indian music is being used to produce three different things. One, longing, desire. Number two, it is a forecast because very soon there will be a song in Kalabati. The girl would sing, will sing the song. Very soon there will be a song. And Ajuki Ananda, that song is in Kalabati too. So it's kind of a preamble to that song. Number two. Number three is the strange feeling which Kalabhati and the shot, the composition is giving us. They are all giving us all together is that, sorry pal, happiness is not for you. That was number three. Number four, there's a number four and that is Ritti Kotok and that is art to me. I'll do what I want. I will use Kalabhati in this way and you will see what it means. So this fourth one is a political dimension, if you, if you can put it this way. Not the first three, but is it only just political or a philosophical dimension too? Now the political dimension that is overtly political in music is usually not philosophical. But like Jane Vale Sipahi, the melody of it is not jarring. Is it, uh, is it doleful? No, I don't think so. No one. And Manade is singing in his typical open way. And the choir comes in. The choir gives us the wail. It's sad. It's sad that wars should take place. It's sad that people should kill people. Patriotism is no good. But look at Shulil Chaudhuri. He is not using any jarring effect. Hey, it's bad, man. I'm teaching you a good lesson. No, not that. And then the Antara. La 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 And there you know it's almost like Ajahn. It's like a prayer. And then it comes up, comes back. And then the scene, that railway wagon, soldiers going to the front. And you question. But this music is making the first questioning statement, but without any jarring effect. That is the genius of Shulit Chaudhuri. And herein, the genius of Tithi Ghatak and Bahadur Khan, that they are, they are, they are implementing a four-prong attack. 
without doing anything overtly jarring or overtly theatrical. What is so great about it? Nothing. Mundane use of the Kalavati skill, scale, but it's doing its job. So here, as I said, the fourth point is that, look, this can be done. I'll do it for you. So this is how I think, in, in, my, in my view, that music functions. But uh, how many movies are there in Bombay where a music could be uh, interestingly used? Mostly the hits were, I'm sorry to say, but rather infantile, rather puerile. And, this, and then they lived happily ever after. Uh, and uh, like you see, man uh, we weeping, a man weeping because his wife is dead, and his and then in the background, a beautiful song and beautiful man, and his everything, his cosmetics beautiful, and his face is beautifully made up. His wife is dead, man. You don't look sad at all. That's movie, Indian movie. Woman. Slapped, woman lies on the floor, made up, perfectly made up. Cosmetics, oof, ooh la la. Same in bingo. Prisoner comes out of the prison, hair all well done. So the music cannot be otherwise. It's a part of the whole. And therefore, uh, like there was a film called Kanun. I have forgotten it. There was no song in the movie. But I have not seen those movies. I don't know how the, move, uh, the music was. But I, when I listen to see the background music of, of uh, lunch uh, box, I find nothing jarring. Here again, music is being used in a proper way. But when I listen to Kabir Khan's background music and songs, I'm sorry, it is the same. So. Politically, it's tending to produce slaves. Not the movie itself. But the music of it, the score, is trying to produce slaves. Not helping, not lending a helping hand to the factor of questioning our fate, questioning raw, questioning ISI, questioning our mindless hostility. This is it. And in the end, I will ask you, Shamanda, कि खुद आप का जो सिंगिंग करियर है और सिंगिंग के अलावा बहुत तरह के काम आप करते हैं तो जो इतना अरसा गुजरा और जहां जिस स्टेज पर अभी आप हैं अभी मन में क्या बातें आती रहती हैं अपने किए हुए ही काम को अगर रिविजिट करते हैं उससे क्या खोया क्या पाया क्या हो जाता तो और अच्छा हो जाता कहां कोई चीज कमी कोई चीज छूटी रह जा रही है क्या है व्हाट द one important work that needs to be done, addressed by me and no one else is doing it, is that creating the Bengali khayal. Khayal in modern Bengali. Because the khayal bandishas we have in India, in North India, which we also sing and practice in Bengal, are rather archaic. Mostly they are Radha Krishna, Krishna and such stuff. So I'm trying to try to create modern khayal bandishas. That is one job that I have to do. I'm, I'm at it. Nobody's listening to it. I don't care. I'm doing it. There's no taker. At least not in Bengal. Another thing that I have to do, I will try to do, is musical. After Rabindranath Thakur, no one in Bengal has done any dance drama. No, Kaji Nosul Islam did, Shapure, long time ago. But th this was never played in Bengal, West Bengal. It was played in Bangladesh. I don't know the reason. Now I'm trying to, trying to make a musical where not a single word would be outside music. Uh, a very difficult task. I don't have that big money because I need rehearsals. I need uh, musicians who is going to pay for them. But this is my dream. If I can't do it uh, in a big way, I'll do it in the... YouTube and uh, take a few friends and create 
musical small. So I, I, I never look back. That's not my type. Actually, my question is also related to that. That is, in your songs, the change that you want to see, it will be there. Always, there will be political forces. उसकी एजेंट बनेंगी अभी क्या आ, अभी जो कुछ भी गाया जिन चीज़ों से प्यार किया जिनको खूब सर आँखों पर रखा और उन्हें सजाया क्या उसके सामने कोई सवाल है वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन सर वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन वंडरफुल चेंजेस हैपन आई एम अ स्मॉल मैन हु like many others tried to contribute to change a certain change in bengal and there my songs helped and i was one one speech seeker who was like my father and my friend he once told me shuman a day will come when i will just start a song and i will soon see that you are not singing it anymore other people are singing it for you and maybe you're just strumming on your guitar maybe not even that and maybe you're just giving the harmonized line i remember in shingur during our great people's movement and i had a song this shalwallar bada agun birodhi nishanoda laj jodi tor legechi agun sharan lanka pora the second line is from kaji nazrul islam if your tail has caught fire burn the golden lanka down that's kaji nazrul islam you know not me and at that time point in time the rebels in shingur they had set the 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 the, the, the fences that the tata company had and, and the west bengal government had put up on fire so shalballa bad the fence agun birodhi nishanora raised the the opposition flag and if you since your tail has caught fire burn it down and i was I, i was just without a guitar nothing just i every time i thought mamata would say my little sister sing a song so i started the song what the hell is happening as when so echo was taking i was hearing an echo so the guy was sitting was down there from my tall days i said are you using an echo I said no sir so and then again i was singing and again then suddenly i saw two three villages they were singing and then i saw while i was singing the antara the second antara the whole crowd was singing i was not singing anymore so this is the power of song now it can it won't happen every now and then but it happens and uh, it's good to see that way i am a blessed man my my the blessings of my guru gurus that some of my songs have become tools in the hands of the people who are working for change and uh, my friend what else could i ask for so ek aur cheez hai jo rang ke roop mein maathe ki lal bindi se jo aapka pyar hai i i want uh, mince words there was a time when i called myself communist and most certainly a marxist and a communist i went to the exchange of instead of saying i am not a musician and a communist i am not a songwriter and a communist i i took pride in such statements then i interviewed noam chomsky <laughs> and he told me i have heard that you call yourself a marxist i said yes sir why So I was rather I didn't know what to say. Said, "Hey, you should rather call yourself a Max Planck Planckian, because <laughs> Max Planck's work has has changed the world much more, your world and my world, the entire world much more than Karl Marx's theories." So that made me think, and well, I don't call myself a communist anymore, but frankly, I feel that in a country. as india when now over 70% of my people cannot even spend 20 rupees per head a day that means they're not getting a square meal a day 
I don't need any freedom of speech. I don't need any freedom of expression. I do not need my music. I need to see happy people, in some ways happy. And maybe socialism is the only way that could address this particular issue. And the red flag, I equated it to the red lips of my lover, the ruddy cheek of a child, the sun, and of course the red flag. Uh, if you ask me today, what do we see in Bengal? What I see in Bengal is not the last word. History changes. And uh, this red comes from also passion. Now this lal teep, what do you say, bindi teep, I have always loved it. And what the, the teep that some ladies put with the shindur, with this vermilion mark, you know, it, I love it. And then crumbles down, sometimes they crumble down a little, you know, one piece, maybe a little piece falls on the, this eyelid. I love it. I feel like kissing that crumb away. And uh, to me, it's a sign of life, the color red. But uh, politically speaking, you are not uh, anymore with, uh, with the red. Uh, not with the red, that is in, in Bengal. But uh, I'm, I, I don't mince words. I have a great, great weakness for the Maoists. With Mr. Dr. B.D. Sharma, I was selected to be one of the interlocutors in the dialogue between the Indian government and the Maoists. I got, came to know Dr. Sharma, what a, what a human being, what a great man. He once told me, Kabir, what do you think of our boys? That, that meeting never took place. Azad died. I had met Azad before. I had met Kishenji in Calcutta, a wonderful people. And uh, it was Kishenji who first told me, Dada, why do so many people come to you? You are you. Are you. Do your work. Don't spend your time with such people. Very interesting. And then um, uh, Dr. Sharma told me, what do you think of our boys? I said, sir, what boys? Hey, come on, Kabir. Come on. It's between you and me. I mean the Maoists. I said, yes, sir. I said, what do you think of them? I said, I somehow like them. But why? I said, because they do things that I can't do, but I dreamt of doing once. You mean the taking up a gun and going to the, to the forest? I said, something like that, something as romantic as that and something as stupid as that because it's my feeling. He said, no, I'll give you what. I'll tell you what. You see, they're the only people who are dying for what they believe in. I've seen Azad. I've seen Kishenji. Are they are my ideals? I have no ideals. Maybe the only guy who would have, would have been my ideal could be Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bosch. I adore him. Do I adore the Maoists? No, I don't. But I like the gut feeling that they don't send other people to, to fight out there, which all other parties do. Every single political democratic party in India. The leaders, they're fine, unscathed. It's always the poor people and mostly Muslims and the least who die, who have to face the kajal, the music. But for the Maoists, the leaders, they laid down their lives. So that, and, and I also believe in what uh, Mr. Kobat Gandhi once said, uh, in spite of my not being a communist, that if we keep everything intact, the social structure and economic structure intact, we can never hope to bring in a government that would respect the people of India. I agree with him because I have fought an election I have been in pillar politics and I've seen that what matters, the only thing that matters to every party is parties being in power, not serving the people. बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया श्रमण दा आपने हमारे लिए इतना वक्त दिया बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया ये थे जाने माने गायक गीतकार और संगीतकार कबीर श्रमण कुछ कहना चाहते हो प्रोग्राम के बारे में तो हमें लिखिए feedback.rstv@gmail.com पर Thank you.